with the wonderful Torquil Campbell of Stars. You're very open and honest on social media. You're very you seemingly, put your seemingly, but you never know, do you? <laughs> you know, it's like social media. Like I'm, I'm, I've just finished raising some money for a record for a Memphis record that I'm making. Then I'm gonna get off social media forever, probably, because I think it's. Um, it's not just destroying culture, it's replacing culture. And it's creating a world where we're gonna have fewer good bands, fewer good writers, fewer good artists of all kinds because people are wasting their goddamn time. You know, you say what you want. It's like, I guess when the when the printing press was invented, everybody complained that, you know, everybody yeah. had a, their book, their face in a book all the time. But like, they, they disconnect us and they create dishonesty, inherent dishonesty. They have no nuance. It's boring, so I'm out. Okay. Yeah. Do you think that's just a process of getting older, though? Where possibly. Because possibly. It's a, the first, you know, you mentioned Hearts being, you know, your favorite Stars record. Well, it's there's a lot to do with first, like first, yeah. first times, first loves, and as you age, your first aren't as shiny and new, and your first are different. Oh, your sh your firsts are just as shiny and new, except that occasionally they're like black metallic shiny and new. They're like you know cold, open, open gaping mouths of death. Instead of all the experiences being like powder blue, okay. some of them are deep black metal and they uh, slice through your soul. But other than that, being alive is very similar um, now, you're, you're now that I'm ancient <laughs> to being young. And I think had I been young, I still would hate the internet. You know, I didn't go to, I, I, I've always been a misanthrope and, um, uh, and annoyed by whatever uh, was the new thing. I don't like, uh, you know, I don't like trends. Okay. <laughs> hey, you do you. I, I, you know, I like um, Dionne Warwick, you know. She, she's, she's not trendy. She's just amazing. Well, you also I, love Beyonce. I, we just saw Haim, right? They're trendy okay. right now, but they're going to be amazing 30 years from now. Those girls are going to be making records that will kill you for 30 years because they did their work and it's come from the heart and it's beautiful and it's well put together and it's filled with humor and life and you know the fact that they hang out with Taylor Swift isn't what is going to make them important it's their work it's interesting though because we had a, we had our little melancholy moment right here as usual as usual yeah but um, when it comes to the record like the, the records are actually quite positive in particular the last album had a light of hope to yeah. it I think people are beautiful you know, like I believe in people. I believe in that kid over there. She's she's gonna be, you know, she'll make it okay. Part of being positive and part of believing in people is that occasionally you get devastated by the fact that people can be really crappy and that the darkest impulses in people can be brought out by someone willing to do that, you know? I, I, I love pop music because it helps people through their day. You know, we've talked about that before. To me, it's a kitchen sink art form. It's not something you take up into your ivory tower and have revelations with. It's something you use to get through the day when things little and big happen to you. And um, some of those things are horrible and some of them are ecstatic and most of them are somewhere in between or kind of mundane. And, mm -hmm. and, and pop can help elevate a drive home, you know, or, or an ice cream soda sitting on a bench. Like if you're listening to a great song, that moment has a specialness. So that's what I'm in love with about pop music and about making pop music. And I love being a part of that moment for people. So to me, that's what I focus on.